Yeah, you're absolutely right, Daryl. Terrific fields here today and a very good morning and welcome along to Tadapa as we gear up for 10 races today. Yes, on a heavy 10 track condition, that is certainly then the concern for trainers leading into this race there because there's so many horses that are ready to race here at this race meeting. Maiden and three-year-old race split into two where there's a lot of talent through those races and a number of horses nominated for the 1,000 and 2,000 guineas. But we are on level three of the race course here at Tadapa and I'm joined by Ken Rutherford. Ken, just talk to me about the new establishment here at the Tarapa Racecourse. Yeah, it is level three. It's the Foster's Lounge BP. Uh, you might recall this uh, well, a few months ago now. It uh, was like individual suites and little rooms and sort of pr pretty old. Probably hadn't been done up since about 1978 or something. So we've basically gutted the whole place and opened it up. And uh, yeah, we're pretty proud of the achievement. It's uh, it only finished on Monday. I came in Monday morning and wires were dangling down everywhere. And uh, it really has been a, a work site of note the last few few weeks to get it up and running for today's, uh, for today's good card here at Tarapa. And this is something we've seen from the Waikato Racing Club over the last couple of years. Things are happening here, certainly around the establishment. Yeah, it's a case of having to really. I think uh, you know, sponsorships were down and other revenue from catering etc was down. So really it's a case of trying to, to reinvest in our facility and that's and that's what we've done. We did the, did the Members Lounge a year ago now and that's been uh, really positive and that's, that's related back into increased memberships of about 25% in the last sort of six months. So that's a good sign that things are going well. And this one here, look it's... I've got to say, it's a secondary uh, racing facility, really. Primarily, we're looking to have functions here, weddings, 21st and all that kind of thing, conferences, etc. So we're really positive about the way things are heading here. It's, uh, it's been good stuff. Yeah, okay. Then, and of course, at the right time of the year as well, because so many of your important race meetings, you know, are, are not too far away. Yeah, they are. Look, uh, Cup Day is it's always good. It's uh, 16th of December this year, so it's later in the calendar than, than it normally would be. Uh, so that's that's look. I'm, this is already booked out on, on Cup Days. It's gone. So there's other obviously other packages available, but we're looking forward to start Memorial Day on Labor Day. That's always a terrific day. We've got a big punters challenge up here in, on November the 11th, and of course Christmas of the races on the 23rd of December as well. So yeah, the, the calendar is well mapped out and works very well for our club. Well, it's great to see the sun out, uh, just in terms of the track condition. I know the amount of rain in the Waikato region, I mean, it's remarkable it's even come back a point, but uh, it is going to be testing out there today, even with it being the, the way that this track does drain. Yeah, I like walking the track. I like walking the track before race days. I had to go and buy myself a set of gumboots yesterday because it's, it's been that wet here at Tarapa. It, it is wet, there's no doubt about that. We've had 150 mils of rain this month, and we're only up to, what, the, the 20th of September, so that's a good indication of, of the track. It is a heavy 10, uh, I think down the back straight with that hedge on our western boundary, it's probably a little bit heavier down there if anything else, I think they will get through the track quite well, expecting around 115 for 1200, let's see if how accurate I am but uh, it will be a good day's racing of course the trainers have been so annoyed haven't they, uh, in terms of trying to get their charges ready for spring racing and hopefully this meeting will be the start for a number of really good horses today Ok, 10 races, certainly a lot of depth through the races, can you, can you find a winner? Yeah, I reckon I can. I know a horse called Simply Optimistic in race three uh, from the Brendan Horton stable was well back last time in that really good form race when Felton Road uh, came storming through two off of three off the rail to win that race. So Simply Optimistic in race three, I'll go for that. I do, don't mind Inca Warrior later on as well. Don't mind Inca Warrior, although she brings joys in the same race, so that could be the Quinella. Right. Ken, all the best to you and the club for today and, and great to be able to see this new establishment. We really look forward to seeing it full over the next few race days. Thanks very much. Really, really. Cheers. Good one. That's Ken Rutherford here for the Waikato Racing Club. My best bet of the day, Daryl. Look, I'm going to go for a short price run and we can run through Maltese and Carson River. Very good first up to the race has been running second and then was beaten in that special conditions race at Hawke's Bay last time to the races when finishing into the sixth position. Abacus is clearly that danger in the race from the Baker Forsman team. But I'm happy to take the 210 and run it through some Maltese, Carson River in race number six.